Good evening. Thank you everyone for being here tonight. Uh, just one quick bit of order. If you do come up to the mic to speak on the agenda item or on the open mic session for the general public, please fill out one of the forms in the back and hand that to Mr. Stewart when you come forward, if you would please. Roll call real quickly. Councilor London. Present. Councilor Spivey. Present. Councilor Beard. I couldn't make it to the morning. Here. Here. Wilson. Thank you. Thank you. Has everyone had a chance to go over the minutes? I make a motion uh, that the reading of the minutes be dispensed with so six council members receive a copy and may be approved as uh, presented uh, this minute for June 20th. Do I have a second on that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And do I have an approval of the current bill payment? So I make a motion for the approval of the current bills for payment in the total of six hundred forty-eight thousand four dollars and eighteen cents. Do I have a second on that motion? Got a second on that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do we have any professional consultant reports tonight? All right. Uh, Mayor, any special announcements or report tonight? Just very briefly, um, we have a couple of presentations tonight that you will all look forward to. Uh, one from the police department, one from the senior center. And I'll let those who are leading that uh, give you more information on that. I want to highlight just three things. Uh, our Dell on the Move is, is moving ahead very well. We have a survey that is out currently. Uh, it's been out for about two weeks. It will run through the end of this month. We've already received over 250 responses, which is just a huge response from our residents on uh, some questions that were on that survey. If you all, and if you, the public, uh, if you live in Arndale and you have not uh, taken that survey yet, it is Survey Monkey. Uh, you can go to the city Facebook or website page and uh, click on the link and be able to take that along. It'll take you just uh, two or three, four or five minutes at the most mm -hmm. to answer. It's very easy. Uh, but it gives us some good information on next steps with our development. I had the privilege of attending three neighborhood association <coughs> meetings over the past month or so Audit Gardens, um, Bookmont, and also Bankers Trace. And I uh, appreciate the opportunity to meet with the residents and talk with them. Those, those meetings. Um, we have a number of developers, and some of you I know have talked to some uh, developers as well, perhaps all of you, a number of developers that are looking at sites in the area, uh, which is good news for us. Uh, there's still a long ways to go, nothing to announce, but there are people who are, who are looking actively in the Iredale area. I met with one group actually last week, a uh, small manufacturing group looking at one of the facilities here off Alton Road. And, uh, looks favorable, they've not signed the lease yet, so we'll see how that goes as soon as they do. Um, and we'll give you more information on that. So, anyway, things are looking good, looking bright, and we're moving ahead. Thank you. Under department head reports, uh, shall we start out, Chief, with your presentation tonight? Yeah. Thank you. to come here and start a Youth Leadership Academy. And so luckily, two weeks ago, we just had our very first Youth Leadership Academy. Uh, I'd like to thank Ms. Venable from the middle school. She was instrumental in helping me get this thing off the ground. Uh, I uh, got with my two officers that teach in the school. One of them teaches classes at the high school, and the other is a school resource officer, and sat down and discussed this idea with them, and we kind of put something together. So we, uh, we ran it from Monday through Friday, 8 to 4 every day, and um, we had a lot of speakers come in speak, talking to the kids. We took them on lots of field trips, went to Motion Industries here in Irondale, we went to Civil Rights Museum, Barber's Motorsports, the Jefferson County Courthouse, went up here to uh, Creative Concepts, Pucker Powder, toured that facility. Uh, across the track, Steve Johnson Racing. We really had every day full of something. Lots of great speakers came in and spoke and talked to them every day. Uh, so we kept them really busy, and uh, I 
I think they really enjoyed it and got a lot out of it. And also, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't, uh, and we had lunch and breakfast for them every day, but we had some local sponsors here, uh, Tricon Wear Solutions, um, Kirkwood by the River, uh, Tower Homes, and uh, the retreat at Mount Brook. They sponsored the entire camp, so uh, certainly without their help, it would have been hard to be as successful as we were. Um, one thing I'd like to do, and I, I've asked, I don't know if any of them, uh, if some more came in, uh, I asked the, the kids that were in the uh, Youth Leadership Academy to come to the City Council tonight. At this time, if you're here, I'd like you to come forward, and I'd like you to introduce yourself uh, to, to the council and to the, to the audience. And let me just say, I don't know if, if they enjoyed this camp more or I enjoyed having them more. And the two officers that really taught it, Unfortunately, this week, uh, they're working night shift, so they're not here. But I tried to go on a lot of the field trips and come with a lot of the speakers. Uh, if you would, step up to the mic and, and tell them your name. I'm Alex. What's your last name, Alex? Tell me your last name. Okay. Kate Sims. Harley Hughley. Um, and one thing, one of our speakers that came, uh, a pastor, uh, George Whitlock, spoke to him one day uh, when he came and he actually showed him a book, a um, John Maxwell book, and uh, talked to him about the book and talked to him about, you know, it's a great book and, you know, that they might want to get it and read it. So I purchased a book for each one of the students. And so I'm going to give you guys this book. And the name of the book is... Sometimes you win, and sometimes you learn. And so one of the things we talked about during the whole week was, uh, and it's really kind of strange how it worked out. It really worked out well because several of the speakers, not seeing each other, not knowing what the other were talking about, at the end of the week, they pretty much all delivered the same message. And that same message, with the, with the big thing we kept going over and over, and one of y'all tell me what it is. But the one thing we kept talking about, you never know what. Oh, there's always watching. You never know there's always somebody watching. <laughs> so we went over that and over that. And one of the speakers talked to us about when he was 10 years old, Mr. Sparks, uh, Cedric Sparks from the City of Birmingham came and talked to him and said that when he was 10 years old, someone saw him doing something right and came back years later and hired him to do what he's doing today. And so we talked about that all week, do the right thing because you never know when somebody's watching. I want to give each one of y'all this book. I want to thank you all and thank your parents for getting you there every day, and we certainly enjoyed it. Queen, uh, Mary King. Uh, 
Thank you. I want to introduce to you Janice Lane. Lonnie Montgomery. Lonnie was our first runner up and is keeping me out there. And our winner is Janice Jackson. for being there in, in the mayor's stand and uh, starting us off. And at this time, we have been requested that uh, Janice sing for y'all. So I'm going to cut it off here. I have newsletters for the Senior Center. If anybody wants any, I'll leave those in the back. It's just Janice. But I'll, if your permission, I'll turn this around so she can face the audience. It's kind of neat to go from the youth to the seniors. <laughs> uh, kids, there's a lot in between there, okay? So fill that slot up well. Okay, you plug in. I just want to say something. It, it was an honor to um, be Miss Senior Irondale for 2016, and I passed the baton on. But something I want to tell you is, We've had three Miss Senior Irondales and two of them from Holiday Gardens. because some people come every day. But I just wanted y'all to know that's close to 2,000 and different every month, the numbers are high. That's how many people that the Senior Center assisted and uh, fed and entertained and brought services to last month. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Uh, one more, Polly. Polly Manning was our fourth contestant. 
and she's just entered the building. <laughs> Um, just real quick, just want to uh, mention a few things. Good evening, everyone. Um, great, great song, great voice, too. Uh, really enjoyed that. Um, I will be conducting my annual back to school uh, backpack giveaway, annual, annual back to school rally. Uh, where I'll be providing backpacks to kids in the Irondale area. Uh, even though it may be in District 5, I have not yet determined exactly where I will have the uh, back-to-school rally, but I will be giving out backpacks again to the kids, uh, and the date has yet to be determined. So uh, next council meeting, I should have more information to give you, but just wanted to put that out there. Uh, next, I've been receiving a lot of calls in reference to the uh, one-day garbage pickup. Uh, I'm asking the council I would like to review this change in our ordinance uh, within three to six months just to see if it's working in the city and of course in our citizens' favor. Uh, I don't know if y'all got gotten, gotten some calls, but you know, always, you know, when we implement certain policies and procedures, it's always good to go back and review to make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do. So uh, I will be bringing this up again just so we can review it. I know the mayor did mention that <clears throat> something about possible cost savings for us uh, during our new garbage pickup. Um, still, I would like to make sure we're, we're, we're reviewing and, and seeing what it's doing. Uh, next, Mayor, I just want to address something with you. I know there's a lot of issues that's going on in our fire department. I've been getting a lot of calls, not really from the, uh, from the Irondale uh, area uh, because I'm involved with a lot of people outside of Irondale. Uh, I think it's something you really need to look into um, without going into detail. Uh, we really need to address those issues. Thank you. All right, thank you. First, I'd like to congratulate Janice Jackson for winning our Miss Senior at Irondale contest and Rodney Montgomery for the Miss Congeniality. And congratulate all the contestants. Every one of them was a winner. I think they did a real good job, a great job. Uh, the Senior Center is having a fishing and picnic at Oak Mountain State Park on June 16th. So if you would like to go uh, get some casting oh, in or fishing. July. Huh? It's July. July. July, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> we, we already went on that trip and it was very successful. Okay. Caught a lot of fish and some people were more proud of their fish than others. <laughs> oh, that's so good. good. <laughs> well, tell us how many you call. June. <laughs> oh, <boy>. <laughs> <laughs> but you would have thought it was a 20 pounder. Go to the Facebook page and look at that video. Oh. Right in the lab. <laughs> All right, and uh, then I'll go to the library. Uh, I'd like everybody to take a few minutes to check out the library's calendar for this uh, for this month of July. It's uh, on their website. But uh, one thing I'd like to mention is uh, movies. They're having movies every Tuesday at one o'clock in the afternoon, and again at five p.m. So uh, bring the kids in the afternoon at one and. Parents come back with them at 5 o'clock and enjoy a good movie. And that's all I've got. Spotty. Um, good evening. A couple of things. Um, first two are semi-related. Um, as far as the Historical Society goes, looking at having a meeting on the 10th at 6.30 at the Public Library here in Irondale in the back room. So we'll talk about a few things, um, a few goals, and a few ongoing things that we're trying to tackle. Um, to piggyback on that, one thing we'll also talk about at that meeting is um, Mount Hebron Church, 2400 2nd Avenue South. On uh, July 16th, they're having their 126 year uh, dedication and uh, there's going to be a, a historical plaque unveiling. Uh, the time for that celebration is at 3.30. Um, so I'm uh, just trying to uh, get the community out, kind of wrap our arms around the church, um, show them that they're a, a, a huge part of the community, and just appreciate the time that they've uh, the time that they've been ministering to the community. So once again, that dedication is July the 16th at 3:30, uh, 2400 Second Avenue South, just over here in the Bend. Um, an update on housing and abatement board. Um, it's 
moving houses through the abatement process to recognize them as needing work and needing to be torn down takes a, a very, very long time. Uh, there were some notes that went out to the owners of a lot of these houses. Five of them were put on the docket to be possibly torn down. Um, of those five, 500 Plaza, this house is currently being renovated, so that's a good thing. Somebody took something that was possibly going to be torn down and is actually improving on it. Um, the 2207 2nd Avenue South, the owner will demolish the home in 60 days, so that's great that the owner's doing that and we're not having to pay money to do that, taking charge of that themselves. Uh, 2200 4th Avenue South, the house is currently being renovated by the owner, another good thing. Uh, 2305 1st Avenue South, the governing body will need to make a determination whether or not the structure is unsafe, so that will be coming to us as far as whether we need to move on, uh, on tearing that house down. Um, so I think I got all of them. So just a little update, the Housing and Abatement Board is moving forward with getting some upstru uh, unsafe structures taken care of. Thank That's you. all I have. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, first of all, good evening to everyone. Good evening. Oh, y'all sound like y'all just been working all day. But it's a beautiful day to be here today. I'm excited to serve you as, uh, as your council person. Sir, uh, excited to be part of this uh, this, this council. But a couple of things real quick. Uh, the KJ McDaniel basketball camp last week was a success. Over 70 kids came out for two and two days, and we had a great, great time. And we're so excited that he came back. He didn't have to. He could have went anywhere he wanted to go. But he came back to Irondale, Chase Valley High School, and put on a camp for the young folks here in Irondale. So we're so excited about KJ. We're so proud of, so proud of him. Uh, Jay Stewart, author. I just want to say how proud we are you, of you, too. You're a Chase Valley alumni. And we're so excited that you, well, that's Shades Valley, Irondale, JCI, I'm sorry, JCIB <laughs> alumni, it's too different, JCIB alumni, we're so proud that you're from, from Irondale, you, you represent us very well, we thank you for what you do, and just let you know that anything that we can do as council, let us know, um, with that. We're, we're proud of you, it. it's not about all athletics, it's about everything, about how young folks are doing. So we're proud of what you what you've been doing. So we thank you for that. Uh, we had a great parks meeting. I think the council that was here uh, uh, a couple weeks ago had a fantastic parks meeting. Uh, got some notes, and thank you, Leslie, for compiling all those notes. Uh, Leslie thought I'd take the notes, so I put my pen down, and she did some great great note taking. So I have those. I'll, I'll be getting those to you guys, and kind of look over those uh, as we move forward. Uh, Councilman Wilson, I'm glad you brought the book back because the same group that's been here the last three years, uh, the J Club, Jacksonville State football guys who are on a free football camp, also doing a book drive. So it may be something we'll talk about and we could maybe go in with those guys and, and do it together. They, they want to do that all the fifth. So we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk and see, and see how we do that. Maybe we do that. And uh, last thing, I got a cop stop, and I'll, I'll let Chief do that one. Yeah, um, I was approached by John Sean. Uh, he's a resident of Rock Ridge and also in the Citizens Exchange Um And they wanted to, uh, the Pocket Park right up there at Rock Ridge and Sunny Rock, they wanted their neighborhood association wanted to get together and uh, on Saturday, July the 29th <coughs> at 3 o'clock. They wanted to uh, get out there and just cook some hot dogs and invite people to come over. And uh, so he asked if the police department would be interested in participating, and I told him we certainly would. Um, so we will be there. I'll have the uh, detective there and the beat officer and myself, and uh, uh, just to meet people, to come up and speak with you about issues you may be having in your neighborhood or whatever, just kind of a community meet and greet. So we'll be a part of that uh, at 3 o'clock on Saturday the 29th. Uh, Rockridge Just real quickly, while we're on the uh, subject of our local author, uh, Ms. Stewart, she will be having a uh, book signing presentation at the library on the 14th at, uh, I think that starts at 11 a.m. So please go by and support the uh, local talent. Uh, just real quickly, I uh, thank Tellus Shoemaker for setting up a meeting 
involved uh, getting with uh, three uh, very nice ladies from the Community Foundation of Greater Birmingham, uh, organization I had not heard of before, but it does present some definite opportunities for us to look at grant money in the long term. They have criteria that narrow it down to some extent, but that money is there. It was almost like they were begging us to participate. So we hope to follow up on that and be able to get something out of it. Again, thank you, Tellus, for setting that meeting up and making sure we went forward. Uh, talking to Mr. Stewart before the meeting, we've only had two resumes for two slots on the CDA. Uh, as we have done before, when we've not had an outpouring of resumes, we've extended the deadline by a week or two to give a chance for some other people to get in. And I really think we need to do that so we do have choices, uh, not just have two people step in because they're the only ones that put in resumes. So if there's concurrence with the rest of the council, uh, if we pick a date, uh, James, that uh, would suit your calendar in about two weeks, and we put that out. And again, there are two positions open. So July, July 18th, then, would be the next deadline. And hopefully, please spread this around uh, in the community. We need some people to step up to the plate because we would like to have a chance to be able to interview people and make the best choice for the next four-year period. Well, actually, it will be the remainder of the terms for two individuals, uh, which expired back in March. And um, the luncheon at Seniors Activity Center on the 3rd of July, uh, very well attended. The food was very good. Everyone was very hospitable. Uh, you learn a lot by sitting there and listening to people in my age group talk. So uh, it was a great experience for me. And uh, thank you all for having me. I enjoyed it. It was very nice. Uh, just. Other than that, uh, nothing else for this evening. Uh, go on to reports of boards and non-council committees. Never pass up an opportunity. That's right. Hi, guys. I'm Tony. Um, I just wanted to come in. Hi, my name is Tellis Shoemaker. I'm Executive Director of the Chamber of Commerce of Greater Irondale. And I'd like to invite you all uh, to come to our next meeting. It's going to be this Thursday at Pine Tree Country Club from 1130 until 1. And our speaker will be the Community Foundation of Greater Birmingham. Uh, Gus Heard Hughes will be a speaker. And we will also have one or two other people. So if you are a part of a nonprofit, or uh, they, they, it's a wonderful opportunity to learn how they can give your group grant money. So I hope you will come. And also remember we've got our cornhole fundraising tournament coming up um, uh, in, in August and all the cool people will be there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now time to approve the agenda. We will have a fifth item added to tonight's agenda, and that is resolved that Resolution 2017 R79 authorizes the mayor to execute a service agreement with Al Alcom Wireless Incorporated. Uh, this is for, uh, for the dispatcher office in the amount of $23,905. And, uh, I uh, make a correction there that should be resolution 2017 R80. <coughs> okay. Okay. I said, may I make a correction there? That should be resolution 2017 R80. I make a motion that the uh, agenda be approved with the addition of uh, <coughs> item number five. here that the chief gave to me. Uh, the reason that it was added is because the contract needed to be signed before July 15th. If it's signed after the 15th, there will be a $2,800 late charge. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, this is a maintenance agreement for the uh, equipment in your dispatch office, so it's, it's customary. It's something that we're approved every year. I think the chief indicated this was about the same amount as last year. It does have the 911 fund that's in the budget. Second. 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 There you go. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. <laughs> now it's time for any public comments on agenda items only, please. And if you're coming forward, please fill out the paper when you come forward and hand it to Mr. Stewart. Okay. All 
right? If there's no comments, we'll move right into new business. Uh, first item is resolved that resolution 2017 R76 approves the 2015-2016 City of Irondale Financial Audit. Uh, Mayor, any additional comments? We basically are just uh, accepting the audit. We can make no changes or any. That's correct. We just voted to receive the audit. And I just need a motion on that. I make a motion that resolution 2017 R76 be approved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Second item resolved that resolution 2017 R77. Purchase of the utility easement from Brookview Wesleyan Church in an amount not to exceed $300. This is additional uh, right of way needed to complete some of the work going to the Mercedes uh, location. We'll have a motion on that item. I'll make a motion that resolution 2017 R77 be approved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Third item resolved that resolution 2017 R78 changes the council meeting from Tuesday, August the 15th. This is August the 15th, 2017, to Thursday, August the 17th, 2017. This is related to the fact that that Tuesday will be a Senate race, so it will be voting on that day. Discussion. Captain uh, Wesley was in earlier to see if that date works for him. Um, if not, I'm sure y'all have a rule, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I made a, um, a motion that resolution 2017-R-78 changes the council meeting from Tuesday, August the 15th, 2017 to August 17th. 20, 15, 17, 2, August the 7th. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Fourth item resolved that resolution 2017 R, uh, R, R79 <coughs> authorizes the police department to purchase 20 bulletproof vests in an amount not to exceed $20,000. This is coming out of seizure money. Uh, or we should say that's a better way to put it rather than say drug money. But basically, <laughs> this is to replace vests that have reached the end of their useful life and it's part of a planned replacement that's being done over a period of years. Question. 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 Uh, what do we do with the old ones? We have in the past maybe donated them some police departments that can't afford vests. Yeah. Uh, we sometimes we'll take some out of the range and just do a, like a wear test on them. Okay. I was just wondering. Do I have a motion? Motion 2017 or 8 to be moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. You, you asked that R80 be moved should be 79. 79, I'm sorry. Okay. That's a Second. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. And the last item is resolved that resolution 2017 R80 authorizes the mayor to execute a service agreement for Allcom Wireless Inc. for the dispatcher office in the amount of $23,905 with this money coming out of the 911 fund in the budget. I make a motion that resolution 2017 R-80 in the amount of $23,905 be passed. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. All right. And do we now have any public comments on anything other than agenda items? Yes. Ma'am, if you'll get the paperwork in the back, please, and come forward to the mic. We appreciate it. Thank you. Pass that to Mr. Stewart here. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I like to say that um, I do enjoy the trash job people coming out twice a week. It does an excellent job. At first, 
I thought it was them just doing an excellent job in the taller way. But I've seen them in other places, in everywhere I've seen them working. They do an excellent job. They uh, take pride in their work. If they drop something, they pick it up. So uh, I just want to you know, get that out. Okay, so um, I want to speak in reference to this idea on the move. You know, destroying my property. Fifteen hundred months of our road. This came up um, two and a half years or so when everybody was, you know, wanting to vote on it. I just wanted my property not to be flooded. I know that might sound, you know, minute to everybody. That was my only request. Other people had various issues, you know. But I'm thinking I'm like a hundred feet from this property. And so everybody said, approve, approve, approve. I'm like, oh, well, what happened to my concern? So I'm like, okay, well, maybe they got this under control. So I'm just gonna sit back and watch and see what happened. I apologize, Mayor. You wasn't being on that. So you come in on this now. Uh, so everybody said okay and went on with it. And as uh, soon as all the trees got, you know, removed and everything, soon as it rained, straight to my house. So I had, you know, some pictures printed up because the ones of you all that's been here know this is not new. So I'm just going to uh, pass each one. Now this is the second flood, the first flood and the second flood. This is really something we need to turn over to the mayor and public works and yes. follow up with high price high tower. Yes. If you don't mind, if you would get with him after the meeting to make sure he knows all the particulars. Okay. And that would be on his plate to follow okay. up and make sure there's some follow up okay. with you. And we've got your contact information here on your sheet, yes, right? You do. Okay. Not trying to cut you off. I it's just you. that sake of, but uh, he's the person that will follow up on that. And then whatever we need to do as a council will hopefully come back to us if we can be of any use on the other end of it because right. basically we would have to maybe back up whatever has to be done. Okay, and I, I just want to give you this the weekend look. Okay, please. Thank you very much. Also, also, David is your council person. Okay. Can 
thank you very much for bringing that to our attention. All right. These, uh, Again, questions. but this for the third time. This is not the first time. Oh, is this recent stuff right here? Is this, yes, is this? that just happened over the weekend. Okay, so you got your date on there? Because yeah. I know they just re-dug that. Um, they've been spending some time over in that in that uh, reclamation pond. They've been kind of... It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. Fair it's enough. Not working. And Council Spider, we have a reclamation. Thank you. Uh, are there any more comments from the audience? It's not working. Thank you. Uh, not comments, but I just want to make an announcement. Uh, Holiday Gardens is scheduled for July the 22nd to have uh, a family fun day. And what we have in mind is for people to come and bring their entire family. And we're going to have some activities for everybody. Something real simple, but it'll be a chance for us to get to know each other and for, uh, for us to just have fun together. It's going to be pretty simple, but I think we need to get to know who's in our neighborhood. And I, don't, I can't think of any other forum that actually does that. And so we're going to start with a fun day. It's going to be July the 22nd from 10 to 2.30. So you can come, have some fun, eat some food, and have some more fun, and then go home. <laughs> <laughs> so I do want to invite you out. You'll start to get some flyers about it, but I want to announce that. The other thing, I want to invite you out. We were talking about the season. I want to invite you out to the Bible study that's on Friday. We have a Bible study going on uh, at 10, 10.30 on Friday. We're studying the book of James. So we want you to, to invite you out if you don't have something to do and you want to study the Word of God uh, on James, come out to the Senior Center at 10.30 in the Friday. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. It's the same day. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't say where. Beacon Park. Beacon Park. And Beacon Park. Thank you. Any additional comments? Yeah. If not, do I have a motion to approve? There's somebody else. One more? Okay. Wait, yeah, one more. Thank you. I am near Virginia. Thank you for this opportunity. You know, I feel like shouting tonight. One of my old previous sons that give glory to God, God saints. Yes, give yes. glory to God. We come to piggyback on what our uh, councilman has said tonight. Number two. Inspire me. Um, and we got an invitation to each of you. I'm going to read one, but it's the same to each of you. My Hebrew Missionary Baptist Church, 2400, 2nd Avenue, South Irondale, Alabama, Reverend Dr. David J. Hope, Senior Pastor, dear Councilman Mayor, entire <laughs> citizen. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we embark upon the 126th church anniversary and annual homecoming celebration of the My Hebrew Missionary Baptist Church, we are blessed and endowed with a historical landmark commemoration. You have played a pivotal role in the history of this great church. We extend this invitation to you for this momentous occasion. This joyous occasion is on July 16, 2017, beginning at 9.30 a.m. for Sunday School, and the historical landmark celebration is to commence at the 3.30 hour. To God be the glory for the things he has done. Looking forward to the fellowship. Yours in Christ, Reverend Dr. Larry J. Hubbard, Sr., and the Mahiba Missionary Baptist Church Anniversary Committee. I want to leave this if permitted with for each one of you out to get a personal as well as a public invitation. And also we do have flyers that we are circulating throughout our community. And then on the second Sunday we're having a free anniversary celebration and we, we, the theme is giving that old time religion. <laughs> so we're dressing in the bunnies and the overhauls and we even have an old time food oh, like potato right. salad and sweet potatoes, <laughs> okra and peas and Nick Bones, so you all are invited as this coming Sunday for the free anniversary. And again, thank you. In the words of my pastor, he always said he is high and happy, peacock proud, and elegant elated for this occasion. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Now, did I miss anyone else in the audience? Is that it? Okay. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Second. Second. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you.